the Mosasaurus hunts near the surface of the water, utilizing the power of a large paddle-like tail to quickly propel itself, unleashing a sudden attack to fatally incapacitate anything it could sink its teeth into. Hello everybody and welcome to another Jurassic World Evolution 2 Species Field Guide review. And for today's we've got the Mosasaurus. Yes, the one we've been waiting for since it was confirmed to be in the game. We finally have Mosasaurus. However, there is some worries with the trailer and stuff. So for the trailer there does doesn't appear to be too much. We just get to see more shots of the Mosasaurus swimming about. We also get to see... Um, the view from the um, viewing gallery or viewing vent that we got from the movie, which looks really nice, I won't deny it. However, from what we've seen of the Mosasaurus, it is bringing up a worry that many people have had for it. So, when the trailer revealed the Mosasaurus, many people, myself included, were worried about whether or not the Mosasaurus would be able to interact with the world around it. Like, would it be able to attack people? Would it be able to attack dinosaurs that got too close to it or stuff? Would it be able to be in enclosures with others? Like, could we make our own lagoons and stuff? And while some of those, we had the worries of that with the Pteranodon and other pterosaurs as well, because we were worried about them being the same as they were in the first game. However, for the pterosaurs, while it appears that they will be able to interact with the dinosaurs and people and even expand the territories after breaking out of their um, enclosures. It doesn't appear so for the Mosasaurus because of all we've seen, apart from them attacking other um, marine reptiles, as we've seen the Mosasaurus is able to swallow whole a plesiosaur, we haven't seen it unfortunately do anything else. And it seems to be in a singular animation loop because once in a while it'll eat the shark, which we see at the very end, which still looks awesome, I'm not gonna lie. Just, I hope that it has more uniqueness to it. We don't want a repeat of the Tarandons from the first game, if you know what I mean. But there isn't too much in the trailer, as I just mentioned. However, in the forums, we get some interesting information. One that's kind of contradicting itself, because one bit of information that shared is that they do not like to be with other Mosasaurs. They are, f they prefer to be on their own. However, in an image that came when the newest trailer came out last week, there was an image that showed like five Mosasaurs in one lagoon, albeit in a huge lagoon, but still five of them. I'm pretty sure it was five. It may have been four. I could be wrong. It's one of those numbers, but it is kind of contradictory. So could it be that like they, like the other dinosaurs, they have a certain territory and then if they're, if they don't clash with each other, like their territories don't meet, they'll be fine with more. But if they're in the same territory, then they'll be annoyed with each other. It could be, and that could be helping us with our worries. Because if you have say a bunch of Mosasaurs in one enclosure, but it's not big enough for them to have separate territories, Will they get confrontational and will they attack each other? It could be, and then you'll have to uh, medicate them and stuff. And I actually wonder how you're supposed to medicate them or, you know, help them get better health because you can't do it with a drone like you can for the Trandons. You, can't obvi you obviously can't drive. So will we have another way? Will we be like in a submarine or something or will it just be automatic? I don't know. But Another bit of news is that they are extremely aggressive, which is interesting because aggressive to what? Will they actually break out? And if they do, what will happen to them? Will they actually start dying because they don't have a proper enclosure? We don't know, but there isn't too much to go on this, unfortunately. It is still strange that the most source is still yellow and not the natural blue that it's been in the movies. Maybe it's because they don't want to reveal that one yet, even though they technically did in the teaser trailer, but I don't know. And I do like that it shows that it does have its second row of teeth, which thank God, because that's a signature piece of it. And 
So yeah, guys, there isn't too much to go with this, unfortunately. The species we've been waiting for a field guide for so long. I I I like the species field guide. I'm not saying that. I just wish that we got a little bit, bit more, if you know what I mean. But that's it for today for the species field guide. I would say quite enjoyable. I can't wait to see other species field guides of like Plesiosaurus or Ichthyosaurus. I don't know. But if you've enjoyed this video, guys, I would appreciate the like. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to join the hunt. Be safe. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.